What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, I made a video previously showing you how to use core offset with locked core clock and locked memory using BZ Miner to gain efficiency on Caspa and Radiant or any core intensive algorithm. But what I neglected to do was make a video for all the people out there using windows so there's some small differences and let's take a look at what hive os looks like so you can see we've got the lock memory we've got the lock core or excuse me core clock offset and then locked core now <clears throat> depending on what kind of card you have if it's lhr you may be pushing your core clock or your core offset higher and as far as your locked core is concerned as soon as you start exceeding about 16, 1650, 1700, you're probably going to start losing efficiency on your locked core. But, you know, everybody's GPU is different, so you'll have to play with these numbers. But that's just been the case on, on all the cards that I'm using. Now, all of mine are non-LHR. I don't have any LHR cards. And on like 3070 Ti's, I try not to push the core offset higher than... Um, I think 360. I've got one particular 3070 Ti that doesn't like going past 330. Anyway, so for you Windows guys out here, if you go into a non-edited bat file, it's going to look something like this here. So you've got your space for your wallet address, your stratum, and that's pretty much the end of it. But that's where you're going to put your extra arguments so I'm going to show you what my edited one looks like and here you can see the difference is the dash dash we no longer have parentheses or the semicolon towards the end um, and you do want to make sure that your spacing is correct here so one space between all of these things no space at the end of 810 just keep that in mind and you should be okay uh, let's go ahead and launch this bat file so that you can see what it looks like after the miner gets going. Always make sure you run as administrator. Sorry about the sound. Okay, it's gonna take just a moment. You're gonna see it populate uh, the clocks that we just applied. So there you can see core offset 330, you can see locked memory 810, you can see 1700 locked core. This is a 3080 Ti and I'm screen recording right now so hash rate's a little no low. Normally it's about 1.41 at about 140 watts, which I can get a little bit better. But as far as efficiency goes, I like to, like to keep the hash rate a little bit higher. Anyways, that's... All I got for you guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. Do me a favor, hit the like and hit the subscribe on your way out. And I will see you guys on the next video.